signs is Nicola. So this is your daily read. This will be for Wednesday, May the 6th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wednesday, May the 6th, 2020. What guidance do we have? What guidance do we have for Gemini? What messages we got? All right. So Gemini, we have Angel of Expression. It says, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. Okay. What messages do we have? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have God of Reflections. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. Okay. See what messages we have for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, we have Goddess of Strength. It says, it says, stand up for what you believe and you will gain respect by holding your ground. The underlying message I have for all of my air signs is Goddess of Sacred Power. It says you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Gemini. Oh, God damn. Messages, guidance that we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Wednesday, May the 6th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Knight of Wands. I seen the tower in the subconscious on the last. This is my second reading. Y'all know I usually want to mess up before I get it right. Um, and I saw the tower. So I feel like someone is either acting impulsively or in a space of having a revelation, um, really acknowledging their desires. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Will of Fortune here. Someone's confident about some change here. Ten of Swords here, embracing the end of a difficult situation. Three of Pentacles here. I feel like someone is in a space. Yeah, someone's gaining control, taking action. Um, this is a, this is a lot of masculine energy here. I'm not saying that it's a man because I have a woman with the Nine of Pentacles, but the energy around this is masculine. Someone here is embracing the end of something, something that basically tore them down and I feel like someone is changing someone is, is embracing that change confident um I feel like someone is putting some things in motion I'm not gonna say impulsively but it could be especially with the knight of wands and the tower that I had from the recent reading so nine of pentacles here I got nine of wands and knight of wands why is this nine of pentacles here all right so we got temperance here Three of Cups, Hermit, Two of Swords, and Temperance. So someone here has been thinking about, I don't know. Someone here is, I feel like someone has retreated. Someone feels like it's time to block out a situation. Um, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, this is a family situation. Page of Swords here, something that was creating a challenge. Queen of Cups could be dealing with a mother figure, could be dealing with a water sign. Um, Queen of Cups is Scorpio, but it could be any water sign. Hermit, Virgo, energy here, Sagittarius with temperance. I feel like for a lot of you guys, like you've been contemplating. You could have been at a stalemate here. Um, I feel like you've been contemplating getting out of the stalemate. And for a lot of you guys, it's cutting away something that was maybe confusing and creating a blockage. So it could be family situations or it could be an actual like relationship. And you could be in a space of making a nurturing decision for yourself by gaining your independence from it. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? We got Judgment, Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. So someone's making a decision to kind of move forward here. Um, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. So someone is acting um, or not acting off of impulse, but realizing some things. Someone's making a decision confident about changing some things because they want to put it into some difficulties. Why is this Ten of Swords here? We have 
the Ace of Cups here with the full energy here. So someone's ready to embrace a new opportunity in love by embracing the end of something that was difficult. With the full energy here, someone could be in a space of taking a leap of faith. I told you someone's releasing something difficult. Ten of Wands here. This was either a oppressing situation or something that had a lot of burdens. And someone's in a space of removing themselves from that. Gaining control. Setting the boundaries that are necessary. Somebody's ready to take action here. I like it. I like it a lot. Y'all, I am still recovering from my birthday. And mind you, I didn't do anything. I know y'all probably like, oh, I don't know what she did. I didn't do nothing. Um, It's just when I get so much attention directed toward me, it's, it's a lot for me to handle. Like it is. I legit sat in silence. Like just to recuperate from everything that was happening. This year, everybody made a big deal out of my birthday. <laughs> So, it was something else. All right. So, let's see why is this Three of Pentacles here. From a distance, though. Safe distance. Hey. So, we have King of Pentacles here, King of Cups here, Page of Cups here, Six of Pentacles. So, someone wants to balance out a situation. I feel like someone sees the value of balancing out a situation, trusting the feelings that they have within inside of themselves. They may have done some research here. Um... I feel like someone may be in the space of wanting to balance out past emotions in order to move forward. So this is a three of pentacles. Someone's ready to put the work in. Someone's ready to start cooperating. You got two kings here. Now some of you guys could be dealing with two different people. King of pentacles, king of cups, a water sign and an earth sign here. But I feel like someone feels like they want to move toward a balanced foundation. Wanting opportunities to balance something out. Why is this emperor here? We have the devil. The chariot in reverse and the ace of wands. So I feel like someone, I feel like someone's at a crossroads. Now, someone could be with the, the Aries energy of the emperor. Someone could be in a space of setting kind of boundaries to a situation. Um, not allowing something to move forward. I feel like someone... I feel like, now I'm going to be real with you. I don't know if, let me see here. Someone's setting boundaries to a situation. Someone's ready to take action. Someone feels interfered. Um, they feel like they need to gain their independence from something in order to move forward. They, someone wants a new opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups here. But it requires a severance or it requires severing a connection. So someone is ready to, to take action. Um, okay. Okay. I feel like someone does have some negative or fear-based thoughts that could be causing them to have a lack of confidence but i feel like someone is confident that they want things to change so even if they're not in the space of being confident that they're you know even making the right decision they know they want a change so with that being said that someone's ready to create that change let's see what guidance we have what messages what guidance do you have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Wednesday, May the 6th. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Moving forward. <laughs> Give me guidance for Gemini. All right, we're going to take the one that failed. Gemini, we got go now. So you need to go now and follow your heart, Gemini. What messages do we have for Libra? Shit. So Libra, we got detach we have purification positive change and detach from drama so i feel like Libra, right now if you're in a space of purifying your surroundings purifying your energy detach from drama you can create positive changes within your life let's see what messages we have for aquarius sun moon rising and venus messages guidance all right aquarius we have work your magic so right now i feel like you need to be putting it out there you know making things move for you with persistence, air signs right now, you need to be persistent. You're ready to take some action, make some changes. Now is the time. This is all I have, y'all.